what you just mentioned is extremely interesting because you spoke about how you picked up on certain traits and that's helping you in today's time in why yeah. you're looking at founders who are looking for investments in fact in one of the blogs that you've written for hbs where you uh, you know articulated on your learnings and how you yes. mentioned in terms of saying that you know first you need to learn to give but yeah. you need to learn to give in in the right perspective yeah. so uh, dimi just just picking up a cue from there would you be able to tell us when because most of the times that we speak with investors the sure. give philosophy is quite different from what you mentioned yep. so would you would you be able to talk about that a little i can i can founder yeah it could help most of our founders here yeah 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 for sure, for sure um um i read a, a book that i recommend for founders and investors it's by it's by um uh, adam grant uh and this in this book about giving he spoke about um it, it's interesting how um uh the most successful people in the world are people who are actually um um willing to give but as they gave they kept their own um um interests in a rearview mirror so it's it's giving but not forgetting about your own um interests interestingly adam grant found that the 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 least successful people in the world were either people who gave too uh who gave too much or mm. ended up giving too little um so i i'm i'm very curious about this whole this fine balance between uh sowing seeds of kindness wherever i go and then uh hoping for nothing in return but also at the same time having the courage to ask uh people um who have developed a bond and a rapport with for help when i need help because there's nothing wrong asking for help um so that book had a really deep impact on me on 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 sowing seeds of kindness and not expecting anything in return but at the same time when you need people you need to ask for it So sure. I think in the investment community I you know I I initially before I joined GGB I started my venture career in in uh, 2015 I was in a very small regional Southeast Asian uh, venture capital fund called Mansell Ventures it was almost like a start because I was like the second in, in employee uh, when I moved back from London to Singapore I took a huge pay cut right <laughs> I joined a small fund it was almost like a startup and I learned a lot about uh sowing seeds of 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 help and of kindness because i think in the venture community uh the most undervalued currency is trust mm. um, there is this trust deficit i feel like in the venture community where founders don't trust investors investors also don't trust founders at the same time for you to strike a deal you need this currency called trust so there is very early on in my career i realized that uh this current this reputational currency called trust was very much in demand but the supply was very low sure. and so I figured out how if I if I'm interested in this career for the long term how can I sow these seeds of trust so that uh when founders start their second third companies they would think about me um but I would help them in the early days without expecting anything in return and so I did that a lot when I was in this small fund and in fact a lot of the founders who I worked with before and I and I helped in the past have come back now to GGV where I'm at mm-hmm. and uh we've ended up working with quite a few of them and had i not done the sort of leg work in the very beginning and gaining their trust and showing them that um i'm a you know i'm a genuine person it would have been very difficult to work with them later on so sometimes this sort of seeds of kindness and and i think you know the larger karmic force right it's very hard to to expect to get things back in return when you're helping but i assure people that when you sow these seeds of kindness they will definitely come back to you sure So I think it's yeah. very different from what you'd have learned back in London School of Economics. Economics actually gives a very different flavor on how you need to be <laughs> going about investing money. What yes. is what you're sharing right now, isn't it? So I'm sure there was a lot of unlearning to do when uh, you got into some of these. Um, I, I would say these are mindsets, right? This is yeah. very different from what you learn back in uh, school or business school. So this is That's right. Different, right? So. because i i like the way you talk about trust which does not come in any any book in uh, economics it's more to do with you know value in terms of money or right. uh, you know with with time intervals how do you look at what you're going to get back so that's right yeah this is this is completely different uh, thought process to be honest yeah. well in fact rupa economics would tell you that the trust deficit is a uh, market negative externality and the way that economics would solve it is they would say okay in a free market price and valuation will solve that but actually the truth is it's not like that <laughs> right <laughs> so um um but that's what economics would tell you yeah sure sure mm.